If you have an incandescent bulb uh, without a replacement on hand and you're not positive that the bulb is bad, the bulb can easily be tested using a multimeter. This test is not good for an LED bulb or a fluorescent bulb. If the end of a fluorescent tube is darkened, it's likely that it's bad. An incandescent bulb will have a coiled tungsten filament that goes across two holders. A typical 60 watt bulbs filament, if you could stretch it out, would be about six feet long. Set the multimeter's dial to read ohms. That's usually an omega symbol. Uh, this meter has a K and an omega symbol. If your multimeter doesn't have auto ranging like this one, then you'll need to set the dial to the correct resistance reading that you think you might read. Uh, there should be uh, a 100 ohm resistance selection on your meter. Set it to that because we shouldn't be reading more than 100 ohms. Plug the black lead into the common socket. And that also may say common or negative. Plug the red lead into the socket that may have a positive or a ohms or k ohms symbol. When reading resistance, polarity doesn't matter. Notice the display on my multimeter with the meter leads apart is a flashing one with a bunch of zeros. That means open. Before beginning any work using a multimeter, always test the multimeter and the leads. Hold the meter leads together and you should read almost a dead short, which in the case of this meter, about 1.2 ohms. Next, make sure that the meter leads are not broken inside of their casing and wiggle them around. The display should remain steady around an ohm or two. If the display jumps around and up and down, then it's likely that your meter leads are broken inside of the case and you need a new pair. Let's test an auto light bulb first. If you look closely at the socket, you'll see there's a thin wire on one end of it and there's a second wire on the other end of it. Make sure that these wires aren't corroded in any way. If they're corroded, you won't make good contact and you may get a false reading. Place one multimeter lead on each wire. And you can see once the meter settled down, it's reading 1.5 ohms. That's almost no resistance. And that indicates that this light bulb's filament is good. Let's test this specialty bulb for a desk lamp. Place one lead on the threads and the other on the tip of the bulb. Again, making sure you have good connection. And we read 0.45 K ohms. Uh, that's way greater than around 100 ohms or less. So that indicates that the filaments inside of this bulb are not any good. Here's another bulb, and I'll test it the same way by placing the meter lead onto the screw thread and the other lead onto the metal tip end. And... Uh, so I might have to scratch it a little bit to make sure I'm making good contact. And we'll let the multimeter settle down a little bit. And you can see I'm reading about 57, 58 ohms. And that would be a normal reading for a light bulb. Like I said, you should typically read um, about under 100 ohms. It's pretty simple. That's how you test an incandescent light bulb. I hope you found this video helpful. A thumbs up is always appreciated. Click on the channel name, Know How Now, to find other videos. And thanks for watching.